Yeah, you can start it, ma. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm Swati, and today I will be presenting about compound leaves. So first, let's discuss what are leaves. So every uh, like leaves are the main organs of a tree or a plant and they are uh, mostly used for photosynthesis and transpiration with a pigment called chlorophyll and um, the main leaves are divided into two types uh, one is simple and another is compound here we'll be dealing about compound leaves so basically what are compound leaves so a compound leaf is a leaf in which the uh, leaf blade is in which the blade is div divided into the midrib, forming two or more distinct uh, blades or leaflets on a common axis. So, uh, in a simple leaf, uh, uh, the simple leaves have a single uh, leaf blade or lamina, while compound leaves have smaller and uh, separate leaves called leaflets. And uh, compound leaves are mainly divided into pinnately compound leaves and palmately compound leaves. First, we shall discuss about pinnately compound leaves. So in pinnately compound leaves, uh, a row of leaflets uh, form on either side of the extension of the petiole called the rachis. And uh, some pinnately compound leaves branch again, developing a second set of pinnately leaves and again into a third set. So pinnately compound leaves are divided into peripinnate and imparipinnate leaves. So first, peripinnate, in peripinnate compound leaves, the leaflets are uh, evenly paired and there are and they are arranged in opposite manner on the rachis with the ends in two leaflets. And in imparipinnate, uh, they are oddly paired leaves and leaflets are arranged in opposite manner with a trailing leaf at the end of the uh, at the anterior end of the rachis. So here we can see that. Um, this is a uh, diagram of an imparipinnate uh, compound leaf where the uh, uh, rachis end with just one single uh, trailing leaf and for a paripinnate there will be two leaves at the trailing end. And based on the number of pinnations, uh, the pinnately compound leaves are divided into three more types. First are the unipinnate compound leaves. And uh, so the unipinnate compound leaves are uh, uh, single. There are there are single leaflets present on the rachis. For example, Azari Rajta indica or the uh, leaves of a neem tree. Then there are bipinnate leaves where the single leaflets of the unipinnate leaves get replaced with uni, uh, uh, unipinnate leaves themselves and they become bipinnate leaves. So one of the examples is Mimosa pudica or uh, the leaves of touch me not plant. The last example or uh, uh, type of pinnately compound leaves are, are tripinnate compound leaves. And uh, when the single leaflets in unipinnate leaves get replaced with bipinnate leaves, it's called tripinnate leaves. So an example is Moringa olifera or the leaves of the drumstick tree. Now we shall discuss about the palmately compound leaves. In palmately compound leaves, the leaflets radiate from a single point at the distal end of the petiole. That is, multiple leaflets arise from a common point. So, uh, as we can see in the previous diagram, uh, that in palmately compound leaves, uh, the uh, leaflets arise from one common point. So in again, palmately compound leaves are also divided into many types uh, based on the number of leaflets. One of the types of palmately compound leaves is unifoliate. So these uh, leaves contain a single leaf blade as a normal leaf with a single petiole. It's uh, it's similar to uh, simple leaves, but uh, it's it's. Uh, in palmately, unifoliate palmately compound leaves, uh, one single leaflet arises from the petioles. One of the examples is citrus lemon or the leaf, uh, leaves of lemon plant. Then we have bifoliate leaves. These leaves will contain two leaf blades attached to a, a petiole at a single point. For example, the leaves of a Chinese orchid tree. Then we have trifoliate leaves. Uh, these appear to be three leaves originating from the anterior end of the petiole. 
An example is clover leaves. Now, clover leaves are mostly uh, confused with being quadrifoliate because they seem to have uh, three leaves or uh, four uh, four leaflets arising from a common point. But mostly, clover leaves are trifoliate, and there are few clover leaves that can be quadrif quadrifoliate. Uh, then we have uh, quadrifoliate uh, palmately compound leaves from which four uh, leaves would be focused to a petiole and appear to be a single leaf. And the example is Marsilia or water clover. Finally, among compound leaves, we have multifoliate when more than uh, four uh, leaflets are attached to a petiole to form a single leaf. One of the examples are uh, Cyperus alternifolius or the umbrella plant. Here we can see that from just one single uh, petiole, there are multiple leaflets arising. With this, we come to the end of compound leaves. Thank you so much. Thank you, Swati. That was a good presentation. Any doubts or clarifications, dear students, you can ask her.